Okay, we're gonna do the Atacama. This is the Atacama sand routine. This can be done in a long jump pit as we're going to do it now, or it could be done in the 40 meter pit that we have or at the beach. And you just do the best you can with your surfaces and your facilities. But it's a, it's a general strength routine and there's a plyometric component to it, although by doing it in the sand, you know, the majority of it in the sand, it's more concentric than it is eccentric. Uh, but we're getting we're getting some work done, which is primarily what we want to accomplish in this particular routine. But we'll get Morgan started with jumping rope, and she'll do that for 60 seconds. Good. Now she'll get in the pit. So this is high knees perimeter of the pit, and she'll do. And we want to do this barefoot. You could do it sock footed, but if you trust the the sand that you're running in, or in this case doing your high knees in, you can do it barefoot. So again, you're looking for knees parallel to the ground, dorsiflexion. Now you do backwards run perimeter. Here you try and cue them to get heel up to their butt and reach. Good. Speed skaters with horizontal displacement. So the horizontal part of it, she's going to do a little bit more jumping, cover more ground. There's a lot of work involved in this particular routine because the sand forces you to work a little harder than, than you would if you were on the track in your sneakers. Now she's going to demonstrate tuck jumps. She'll try and raise the knees to her chest. Good. Good. Karaoke down and back. And she'll karaoke, but I want you to karaoke with a knee. Yeah, karaoke with a high knee. And we have this in some of our warm-ups, but again, we're trying to do this barefoot. And it's safer to do it in the sand and requires more work in the sand. Good. Well, we could do this, it depends on, you can make it more metabolic by doing it with shorter rests, and you could do it after training, after aerobic training. I've used it after we've run uh, hundreds on the track, so 90% work with 800 meter runners, get them out there doing max velocity and or special one endurance, and then have them do this to cap it off. Do you view this as the, something that leads into doing more intense plyometrics later in the year, or is this just? I think this is a good, this is a good precursor to real plyometrics, uh, plyometric work that you would do on a harder surface where you get more response. Um, it's, it's safer because it's in the sand and it requires more work because it's in the sand and it's more concentric, but it's a little bit, there's a little bit of an eccentric component. Uh, but most importantly, it's work. And I think that's the best thing that we can do is just continue to find ways to add work that, that are safe and that, that provide opportunities for us to get better.